Lehi is home to about 50,000 people. It's been home to most new immigrant groups immigrating to Hawaii over the last 150 years. And so there is a lot of low-income people and a lack of access to health care and lack of support for their culture. For us as a healthcare organization, it behooved us to understand what was the culture of health in this community. And for this community, the culture of health is really about connection. Connection to your community, connection to the land here, connection to your culture, to your language, to your traditions. Those were all the things that sort of inspired us to be where we are today. As an organization, we're really about strengthening that abundance that already exists here in the community, but sometimes is obscured by a narrative of deficit and poverty and ill health. We're standing on 100 acres of land where we do reforestation efforts, which was a reflection of the community saying, we no longer have a place to put our hands into the soil and understand where we are. How do we belong to this community? The health of this community is directly tied to the health of the land, the vibrancy of the culture, and that connection. If we are not taking care of the land, if we're not taking care of those connections, then surely not only humans will be sick, but our entire environment. And for us in the Pacific Islands, our environment is our family. We're up here on the land right now where people come together on a regular basis to grow their traditional foodstuffs. They're able to come up here and harvest traditional medicines. Many of my patients will get out of the car or bus and they'll say, I'm home. That feeling of being at home has to be central to our sense of being healthy. Could you take a deep breath for me? In our small apothecary here on the land, we're able to revitalize practices that have been dormant in our communities for a long time to make sure that Native people have access to our own plant medicine. That's what helps our community to be able to move forward with pride in our identity and connection to a health that makes sense for us. We have been working in public housing with healthcare for 50 years. We noticed that when people are on the land, they are themselves. So creating a garden space within public housing was just a, sort of an obvious way for us to create a space where people could build community and solidarity with one another. It gives opportunity for our kupuna to come in and reconnect back to their roots, reconnect back to their home. It's important that we have these spaces, especially today where we're moving further and further away from that idea of being in the ground. It's good to be able to come to this space and appreciate the land, appreciate the people that came before us. At the heart of our organization is a group of women we call our super aunties. Our super aunties walked our community in the 70s and built relationships with families to try and make sure that whatever it is that we as a network are accountable to, we are providing that. The super aunties are important because they're the ones that are getting in the clients, they're passing down information into the community and so a lot of the community we look to the super aunties to give that direction. Our people here in the community are built on resilience. Like anything that happens in the community, we're not struggling individually, we're struggling together as a community. For Hawaiian people, equity is part of how our society, our culture is designed. So health equity is about revitalizing our way of connecting to one another, making sure that even the smallest and the slowest among us are cared for in all the ways. That deep potency that comes from within a community, it's our responsibility to help it be activated and seen within each other. And when a community is whole like that, that's when we have hope for our future. The story here of Hawaii, there's a lot of pain in that story of people being dispossessed from their land and their culture. And the last 50 years has seen this tremendous cultural renaissance of the Hawaiian culture. Everyone is in this struggle together and it isn't just a struggle, it's an uplifting of gifts and talents that have the chance to heal all of us and are critical right now in a world where we know resilient communities are going to be increasingly important.